once again, ye old masking tape and super glue trick. Okay, so here's our current progress. We've got a body blank, uh, routed roughly to shape. This is a, you know my second build, so uh, I'm pretty pleased with how it turned out. I'm still learning how to use a router and how not to blow out and uh, accidentally tilt the blade a little bit. I've got a couple little boo-boos here where I screwed up and at least one chunk of blowout. But on the whole, pretty happy with how we're looking, so let's uh, Let's try to crack this open and get the uh, template off. Nope. May need a tool. Yeah, here we go. Lovely, just like new. And here is my guitar in progress. So my plan for this build uh, was for the front face of the Telestyle body to be an all wood uh, composition, as in uh, no pickguard, no control plate, uh, as in a standard old school Tele, but rather all the controls just passing through the wood and only seeing wood and stain on the front of the guitar. Um, so uh, in that, with that in mind, I, um, I uh, designed a little back plate uh, cut out and recess to fit the control electronics in. I based the shape uh, on the original uh, standard Tele front uh, control cavity recess, but moved it to the back and added a little more space so that I could fit in the um, uh, nine volt battery since my electronics for this guitar are active electronics. 
So you can see that little cavity there and the cutout around it is for the back plate to slide uh, on top of it. Second verse, same as the first. Time for a little masking tape, super glue, and in this case, accelerator to temporarily stick this template onto the body blank. I guess it's not a body blank anymore. It's not blank, it's been cut out, but you know what I meant. You'll note that there's a weird shape in here because it's, it's actually a, a uh, previous template, the remnants of a previous template for cutting out a back cover for my 2x4 caster, which had uh, an unfortunate lack of foresight with, my no with regards to my knowledge to the death stop on my new router. So to make a cover similar to this. But, you know, reuse, reduce, recycle, especially when it comes to engineered wood products. Uh, 
sound here. We go. So in the last clip you can see that I totally biffed it and dropped my uh, blade into the edge of the uh, backplate cover recess there and made a little nick. So later on off camera I moved the uh, template over about a quarter inch and uh, routed uh, that line again to clean it up. Uh, looks a lot better now. Stick around, more coming soon. Mm -hmm.